Doctor, what is the relevance of your vows to renew on 8 December as you are the sisters of blessed sacrament? Good doubt. Let's have a flashback. Indo. Chambukulam in Kerala. It was on 11th December 1911. Our beloved founder, Venerable Marthamus Kuriala Seri, he had to leave his beloved daughters and moved to Changana Seri to take up his responsibility as the bishop. It was a heartbreaking experience both for founder and the first members to be departed from each other. He wanted them to be entrusted into the hands of some mighty person who can assist them in each and every need. So he gathered his beloved daughters in front of the statue of Immaculate Conception which he brought from Rome and told them, here is your mother. He wanted them to be the devotees, servants and daughters in his exemplary model. Let's listen from his own words. Why should we follow her as our model and example in our consecrated life from his own words? If you want to be worthy children of Mary, immaculate and undefiled, you have to keep off from all sins and imperfections. You have to love and obey by life the virtue of chastity, known as the virtue of purity, pleasing to the Queen of Virgins. Magnificat, sung by her and her latest services, to her aunt Elizabeth and her onward journey in following Jesus Christ and gathering his disciples after his death shows the mighty power and outcome of her consecrated life. So dear children, it's a call, a challenge and an invitation to love God and others with a pure heart Save them with an attitude of a horse rather than a curse, deepening our relations in a spirit of sacrifice. Thus, let us stay to be a source of blessing to make the Eucharistic Jesus known, loved and adored by all. Mary, the Immaculate, stands in front of us, born as sinless, lived as sinless, being the beloved daughters of this pure, humble and holy mother, let's see her mighty intercession as we renew our vows to have life in us which is in abundance after her. Wishing you all the manifold blessing of today. Let us travel with Our Lady to bring the baby Jesus in and through our consecrated life.